Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make that super cool lock-on stabilization effect you've probably seen. If you don't have any files to edit and want to edit along with me, go to the description and I have all the project files you need there. So let's get into it. So DaVinci Resolve makes this effect super easy to achieve. All you got to do is drag your clip into your timeline and then head over to the Fusion tab. Once you're in the Fusion tab, you're going to want to select your clip and then hit shift and space. This is going to bring up the select tool menu and then from there you can search up planar tracker. Add this to your node and then head over to the inspector tab. In the inspector tab you're going to want to select set and then go to tracker and select hybrid point area. In the motion type you want to select translation. This is going to track the up, down, left and right of it. And once you have that, you can go ahead and draw a box around the object you want to track. In this case, we're going to do something in the middle of the face, like the nose. This is going to make it focus on the face. Now you can hit this tracker button and begin tracking. You can see it's going to track it. And then once it's done tracking, all you have to do is go to operation mode and change it from track to stabilize. Once you have that, you're going to notice your effect is working but it kind of crops out the edges. So what we're going to do to fix that is just head back to the edit page. So in order to fix this, all we're going to have to do is just zoom the video up and you can adjust the position a little bit. This is the easiest way. It's just going to cut out all the edges. If you have, say, those black bars, cinematic black bars in your video, that can cover it up a little bit. But as long as it's zoomed up, it will crop all of the edges out and look like a normal video. And there you go. That's all you need to create this awesome effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.